Our homes tell the story of those who live there. It's our one chance to show who we really are and influence the way our families live. At the end of the day, every material matters. I'm Anne Marie Barton, About Home. When it comes to a new project, I don't count on my clients to know all the technical terms when it comes to remodeling and building. I know that's what they're counting on me for. What I want to know is what they love, what resonates with their personal style. Even though we don't really use fabrics till the very end of the project, it's the first thing I bring out to see what they really like. For me, that's the easiest way to decipher what their style is, whether it's traditional or vintage, modern or classic. From there, I can decide the whole rest of the palette in the house, the shapes of the moldings, the fireplace style. All we have to do is lay out the fabrics and I learn all I need to know. Now, when it comes to my own home, I definitely wanted a sense of peace and tranquility the minute I walked through the door. So instead of using a lot of color in this room, I chose to highlight texture. And I did it with the coolest pillows, full of embellishments. There are nail heads and silk feathers and jewels and fur. I love it all. And I can change it out anytime I wish. All of it's not very colorful, but it has that texture that talks. The backdrop to all of it is a nubby natural linen, and I think it allows for things to feel soothing and calming in here. Okay, so this is it. This is really how we live. This is our family room, and it's filled with musical instruments, because that's what we do here. Besides the beautiful tones of the musical instruments, we have the artwork, and that also had an orange tone to it. So orange was a natural choice for us to highlight, and I love it in these throw pillows. I change them out per season, so this is my lighter springy pillow, and I also have a winter tone throw pillow. The sofa is made with a sunbrella fabric so that we can make a little mess because we are real people in a family room. Even if you choose to keep the subtle backdrop, remember to continue to pop your color. For me, I used it with my placemats and napkins, even my cookie jar, and the slip cover on the host chairs. Anything to add a pop of color, but not control the room with orange. There are three key elements that I want you to think about when you're choosing your materials. It's color harmony, it's texture, and it's pattern rapport. When I use the term color harmony, I'm talking about the balance of colors together in a room. Although I absolutely love color, there is always the chance that too much of a good thing is actually too much. Now, one of the reasons I find this so palatable is these colors have been richened or grayed, as opposed to another palette where they've been left raw. You can see the difference. Now, it's fun to do a room or two out of these more raw flavored colors, but if we're wanting to live a little more cozy and feel warm in our homes, we definitely want a grayed down color value, and that creates color harmony. Color is one of the main components when it comes to fabric selection. And in this room, we wanted the fabric to tell the whole story. This one fabric was how we started the bedroom. We even decided to go back in time and use an old fashioned style bedspread, which we made from the fabric. From there, all the other choices were guided, including the bed frame, which kind of complements all of that traditional vintage line of femininity. You can also see the mixture of textures, which is really important. We've got the silk, the plush chenille, and then the polka dot chenille, all giving a variety. And a nice backdrop to that is, of course, the simple linen with the quiet ruffle. Even though the rest of this house is traditional, this boy wanted his room to be a little bit on the mod side. So we chose a bed that had a low profile and chose fabrics that were kind of quiet, allowing for a little accent in the striped pillow. Again, in a traditional home, you're going to see pops of color. Originally, picking out a blue sofa was a little bit of a risk for me because I usually count on the throw pillows to be the accent and the sofa to be kind of a neutral. Instead of making these neutral, we created personalities for each of the kids. We just painted their initial on the fabric front using all kinds of materials. We asked them what things they liked and then we surprised the client when they moved in. If you can believe we made a pillow that actually celebrates Xbox, controllers and basketball, 
easy to do, but these fabrics really make a difference when we create our own unique pillows. When it comes to texture, we're always thinking about how the fabric feels. In sophisticated and modern homes, you may not see a lot of color, but you're always looking for texture changes. It can be subtle and smooth or have a little nub to it. Any kind of linen that you can actually feel that is made of pure wool or cotton or even velvet. We're always looking for that quality in fabric and you can achieve a lot of interest just with texture changes. This is an example of a very cozy sofa made with that linen I was telling you about. It's nubby, it's natural. When you rub your hand on it, you can feel the individual pieces of the real fibers. And of course, always some color in the pillows, saving my stripe as the favorite, and then balancing it out with some florals and then geometrics. Pattern rapport is the art of mixing patterns, stripes, and florals together to create an energy in the room. So, I always start with a stripe. It's kind of my favorite thing. It's a must-have, and this is the one I've used for years. I'm sure if I went back 10 years, it was in a house I did, and I'm using it on a current project. Stripes are bold and masculine, and they're best complemented with a floral. So here's one of those florals that could be considered more of a vintage floral. I still find it fresh and updated. I love to put the embellishment of the embroidered fabric with it. You can see the sunflower is really hand embroidered and gorgeous. The stripe is the essential, as I have said, and I love a little leather, but you can tell it's not that typical brownie orange leather, it's grayed as well. The best palette of fabrics always is a combination. It could be geometrics, stripes, and florals. Together, they work to create a very interesting palette of ideas. Now would be a great time to define the word kitschy. I'm sure you've heard it. You may not know exactly what it means. It's fun factor. It's out of the box, things that are fresh, new, color always, and fun when put together. So this room definitely has a kitschy flavor. One of the best parts about it is this tangerine ottoman. I love the tufting on top and the strange, very different elliptical shape. And that is exactly what kitschy is. Notice the rug. It's bringing in the geometric. I love the yellows that they play off the other colors in the pillows. This is another reason why we usually use a solid on the sofa, because it usually sits on a rug. And a lot of times I depend on the rug to do the talking. So looking at these pillows, all those same rules apply. We have color harmony, only this time the colors are not grayed. They're bright and strong and kitschy. We also have pattern rapport. You can see that and we have texture. If you've got all three, you've done a great job. This is one of my all-time favorite remodel jobs. We started from the ground up. It took us about eight months, and the main thing that I wanted to have happen here is that essence of an old house, the wood creaky floors, the old beams. One of the hardest things for designers to do is to deliver that charm and authenticity into a new build. I think this house has it. The other thing I have to do is always listen to the client. And in this case, she's kitschy and fun and vibrant. So the pillow fabrics were all chosen with her in mind, as well as the pattern we chose for this big chair at the end of the room. It's the farthermost chair, but you can tell what it's doing. So the pattern has to be broad. Now I don't usually do the sofas in the big pattern. As you know, the wow factor happens on the chair and then again in these pillows. I'm really hoping this room captures all three of the elements I told you are important when picking your fabrics. We have color harmony. You can see how it all feels fluid, light, and it all relates in a soothing manner. We also have pattern rapport. We have stripes, we have geometrics, we have florals, and they all meet each other equally, none speaking louder than the other. And last of all, we have texture. I truly believe that there is no room in the house that should be left unnoticed, especially the master bedroom. Obviously, we spend a lot of time in there. The mattress has to be comfortable and it has to look good. You wanna walk into your room at night and just love getting into bed. For this bedroom, I knew I needed to keep it light and airy, like the whole room feels. But if all I did was that, 
it would never be grounded and feel like it was an anchor in the room. To do that, we got this faux fur blanket that just really answers to luxurious, casual, elegance. Laying it here makes it look good and rich. And the chairs, inexpensive, but just adds a little wow factor. And just a tip when it comes to choosing your headboard, why not go with something upholstered that's soft? It also allows another opportunity to have fabric and soft goods in the room. Another reason we went light on the linen fabric for the duvet is once again, it touches down on the rug. And I always like the rug to do the talking. And it too has such beautiful color tones that relate to our wonderful throw pillows. Once again, we have our geometric, our solid velvet, and then our modern floral. All those rules happening right here on one bed. It really is every designer's goal to reach the expectations of their clients, but I like to take it a step further and raise their own bar, hoping that the environment I've created helps them live happier and better. I really do believe at the end of the day, every material matters. I'm Anne-Marie Barton, About Home.